Michael Lima, congratulations man on your selection uh, for Team 1 2016. How are you feeling? Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty stoked and uh, yeah, it's, uh, really grateful and pretty blessed to be back here. So uh, yeah, yeah no, pretty happy, yeah. yeah. I know last year you really wanted to make the World Cup, you didn't, and now you're back in the team this year. What are the goals for you this year? Yeah, obviously that you know getting over that huge disappointment um, was pretty tough. But when I got a call from uh, Bert, it was uh, you know pretty special as well. And I yeah. guess for me, I just want to come in and just try and play as hard as I can and, and train as hard as I can and, and uh, just work really hard and uh, yeah, hopefully get a get a test or or two um, in the June test series. So we'll see what happens. All right. So you're looking to uh, claim that starting spot or? Yeah, just in the starting team. Put my, yeah. put my hand up and best foot forward, and, yeah. and just see what happens. You know, there's some pretty classy players that are playing in my position, so uh, we'll just see how we go and just just work hard and, and, and enjoy myself. And what sort of uh, what sort of improvement to your game from last year that you have this year? Um, I guess I've just tried to work on my de defense a bit and mm. uh, work on that, and it's, it's gone pretty um, all right for me. And, I guess just my whole game management and just trying to work uh, work hard on that. But yeah, we'll just see. We'll, we'll see what happens. And that uh, kick last week uh, <laughs> uh, against the Chiefs. I mean, that's doing the rounds. And uh, uh, I mean, that's. Is, are we going to see more of that? Uh, is that Lima Sopanga? Is that is that you? Ah, oh, you know, uh, that's the, that's the Tony Brown special right there. You know, Tony Brown. He's uh, he's he's a crazy scientist. You know, like. Yeah. He thinks of all these crazy plays, and um, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm just the one who goes out there and tries to execute it as best as I can. And yeah, I was just lucky it didn't, I didn't kick myself and it hit me in the head. So, <laughs> yes, all that. Yeah, all, <laughs> all right, man. Congratulations again, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the All Blacks uh, team, starting to uh, starting team, and following you through this year. Cheers. Thank you very much. Appreciate yeah. it. Fox all back selector and mentor. Um, congratulations on naming your team. Are you happy with the team? Yeah, very happy. I mean, yeah. it's look, picking an all black team is a big job anyway, yeah. and it, yeah. you know, the, the other two selectors and I have some healthy debates. But yeah. you know, we've we lost some legends from last year, some things, you know, so we had some new guys to pick. There are six new guys here and yeah. one new replacement player. So exciting times yeah. for new guys will get an opportunity in this jersey. Talking first five, so uh, we have uh, Lima Sapanga and uh, uh, ba uh, Bowden, and who else is there? Aaron Cruden. Aaron Cruden, well. of course. Obviously, yeah. Aaron Cruden has been well established with yeah. us, and Lima has had one test match, which he okay. played very well last year, and he's been in good form this year. Yeah. You know, Bowden's um, been in good form all year, and we know how important he is to to our match day 23. And there's also another guy in the group who can play 10, and that's Damian McKenzie. He's playing mostly at fullback at the moment, but he does have the ability to play 10. Okay, talking Lima Sokoanga from uh, the Highlanders, I know you had a big disappointment not missing out in the World Cup last year. What have you? What's your brief for him this year? Well, look, he, he's carried on um, mm. where he left off last year. The, the, the key thing with Lima, really, we're looking at is just improving his game management, and he's getting better and better at that. You know, particularly exiting from um, his own half of the field defensively, making sure that he's choosing the right kicking options. Um, because at test level, you know, yeah. um, you got to you got to be very wary of, of that type of scenario. You know, his goal kicking is very good. Yeah. Um, defensively, what we're liking this year is defending in the front line, not not either out on the wing or at fullback, and he's coming forward in the, in the defensive line. He's also carrying the ball a lot more down inside channel, so he's not just ghosting around behind and waiting for an opportunity. Yeah. He's actually playing that first receiver role a lot and getting his hands on the ball and challenging the line. So he's he's growing his game. Yeah. Um, and now we're pleased with his form, and that's why he's here. All right, we saw uh, a Tony Brown. Uh, a bag of tricks against the Chiefs last week with a, that nice kick. Is that, is that something you would encourage him to carry on with? <laughs> well, I'm not sure it's Tony Brown's bag. Of well, that's what he He's, said. Brownie's probably encouraging it. <laughs> I'm not sure Brownie did some of the things that yeah. Lima can do, and I certainly did it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, look, um, there's a time and a place for that, yeah. obviously. But you, you know, you don't want to fill your game with a box of tricks. You've got to fill your game with what the team needs you to do. And every once in a while, you can build things um, for the team around a certain trick that a player might have. So, you know, we got, there's a difficult balance at test level because the risk and reward factor um, is significant. And, and the difference often between the test rugby and the level below is when you make a mistake, you're going to get punished more so at test level. So, you know, the box of tricks is great, but you just got to make sure that you use it in the right time and place. Thank you, Foxy. Okay.